a new case in Poisson distribution. The case is on the average 1 in 400 items is defective. That means we can say that the probability of any item being defective is 1 by 400. 1 upon 400. If the items are packed in boxes of 100, what is the probability that any given box of items will contain number 1 not defective, number 2 less than 2 defectives, number 3 1 or more defectives and number 4 more than 3 defectives. The important thing is if the items are packed in a box of 100, what is the probability that any given box of items will contain. That means we need to calculate the probability of defective items out of 100 and not 400. So, if we consider the case of binomial distribution, the small n is 100 and not 400. Of course, 400 is not an uh, useless information. It can be used to calculate the probability of defective item. But n is 100. Now, n is sufficiently large. That means we cannot use binomial distribution to solve this problem. Now, which distribution should we use? See, only 1 out of 400 is defective. That means the ratio of defective is very small. It tends to 0. Or we can say that in so many trials, 400, the ratio of or say occurrence of defective is very small. Only 1 against 400. That means the data follow Poisson distribution. So we can solve this problem through Poisson distribution. Now, to use the Poisson distribution, we should have mean because in the formula, we have to use E raised to minus mean as one of the components and mean raised to R or mean raised to X as another component. So, without calculating or without knowing the mean, we cannot use Poisson distribution. What is mean? We can again use the binomial theorem or rather binomial distribution, I'm sorry. Binomial distribution to calculate mean. We know that mean of a binomial distribution is NP. N in this case is 100 and P that is probability of defective because ultimately we want to find the probability of various number of defective items in a box. So P will be probability of an item being defective. Now NP will be 100 into 1 by 400. So ultimately NP or mean is 1 by 4 or 0.25. Now we need e raised to minus mean that is here e raised to minus 1 by 4 or e raised to minus 0.25. E is base of natural logarithm its constant value is 2.71828 that we have to accept. So ultimately e raised to minus 1 by 4 is 1 upon e raised to 1 by 4. e raised to 1 by 4 is 4th root of e. That means ultimately it is 1 upon 4th root of constant value of E. That is 1 upon 4th root of 2.71828. That is 1 upon 1.284. So ultimately E raised to minus mean in this particular case is 0.7788. Now we can calculate various probabilities by using this formula of Poisson distribution. First is P of or probability of no defective item that means p of 0 p of 0 is e raised to minus 0.25 into 0.25 raised to 0 upon 0 factorial now we know that anything raised to 0 is 1 and 0 factorial is also 1 so ultimately p of 0 comes to e raised to minus mean that is 0.7788 I suggest you that remember forever in Poisson distribution probability of none or probability of zero is always e raised to minus mean that will be useful to you in solving many of or all the problems of Poisson distribution or MCQs or short answer questions now the second is probability of less than 2 defectives. What do we mean by less than 2? Le there are two values in less than 2, 0 and 1. So, it 
will be like this e raised to minus mean into mean raised mean raise to 0 upon 0 factorial plus e raised to minus mean into mean raised to 1 upon 1 factorial that will be if we take e raised to minus mean as common now it is 1 plus mean raised to 1 upon 1 factorial that will be e raised to minus mean into 1 plus 0.25 raised to 1 is 0.25 1 factorial is 1 so ultimately it is 0 0.7788 into 1.25 in Poisson distribution we can calculate probability of many values of r together in this form so p of r less than 2 that is probability of less than 2 defective items is 0.9735 the third is probability of one or more defective probability of one or more that is 1 minus p of none probability of at least one is 1 minus p of none that is 1 minus 0.77 8, 8, that is 0. 0.2212. To calculate the probability of at least one is the easiest task. Now, number 4 is probability of more than 3 defectives. More than 3 defectives. P of more than 3. R greater than 3. That is P of R greater than or equal to 4. That is 1 minus P of R less than or equal to 3. That will be 1 minus P of 0 plus P of 1 plus P of 2 plus P of 3. Because this is the shortest rule. Or otherwise R greater than 3 up to 100. We have to calculate probabilities of various values of R from 4 to 100. That is not possible or feasible. So we have to calculate the probability in this way only. Now e raised to minus 0 0.25 into 0 0.25 raised to 0 upon 0 factorial plus e raised to minus 0 0.25 into 0 0.25 raised to 1 upon 1 factorial plus e raised to minus 0 0.25 into 0 0.25 raised to 2 upon 2 factorial plus e raised to minus 0 0.25 into 0 0.25 raised to 3 upon 3 factorial. Now, let us take e raised to minus 0.25 as common factor. Now, it will be 1 because 0 0.25 raised to 0 is 1 and 1 factor is also 1. I mean 0 factor is also 1. 0 0.25 raised to 1 is 0 0.25 upon 1 factor is 1. So, it is 0 0.25. 0 0.25 raised to 2 upon 2 factorial. That is 0 0.25 raised to 2 upon 2 factorial 0 0.62 uh, sorry 0 0.03125 plus 0 0.25 raised to 3 upon 3 factorial is 0 0.0026 that is 1.28385 so it is 1 minus 0.9 9, 9, 9. So, probability of R greater than 3, that is probability of more than 3 defective items in a box of 100 items comes to 0 0.0001. This is approximate value. So, in this way, we can calculate various probabilities using the Poisson distribution. That's it. Thank you very much.